Hello everyone. In this session we are going to discuss Charles law and in the last session we discussed Boyle's law. Okay? So what are all things we are going to study? That is Charles law, graphical representation, application of Charles law and then we will discuss some of the questions. Okay? So here you can see Charles here. Okay? And what are all things which he has told for a guess? Okay? The first thing that he just took these two things that is pressure and number of moles as constant for a gas and he took out the relation for V and T that is volume and temperature for the gas and he gave his law. What was the law here? That for a fixed amount of gas or fixed mass of gas at constant pressure Okay, the volume is directly proportional to its absolute temperature. That is temperature in Kelvin scale. Okay, and mathematically he gave this relation that V is directly proportional to temperature. To remove this proportionality sign, we can write V is equal to KT and K is going to be the proportionality constant here. Okay, and we can write it as V by T is equal to k here and this k is going to be the constant. So this relation for Charles law is very very important. Okay that is v by t is going to be constant. Okay and here you can see for a gas having initial volume v1 and initial temperature t1. Okay and this is v2 that is final volume and t2 is going to be the final temperature. So we can write that is V1 by T1 is going to be equal to V2 by T2. Okay. So this is very very important formula. You have to remember this. Okay. So now here what is written? Before studying this thing, first of all there was some experiments done by the Gay-Lussac and Charles, okay, what they found is that for a gas, if you are going to increase the temperature, volume is going to increase. And if you are going to decrease the temperature, your volume for that gas is also going to decrease, okay. And one more important thing is that when you rise the temperature by 1 degree for a gas, okay, which is going to have a fixed amount at constant pressure, okay, what is going to happen? there will be increase in the volume by 1 upon 273.15, okay. So, that is by the initial volume, there will be increase, okay, by what? 1 by 273.15 at 0 degree centigrade, okay. So, now you can see here, if volumes of a gas at 0 degree centigrade, and T degree centigrade are V0 and Vt, okay, respectively. Means at 0 degree centigrade, there will be volume V0 and at T degree centigrade, there will be volume Vt respectively. And we can write this expression that Vt is going to equal to V0 plus T upon 273.15 V0, okay. And now you can see here, we can take out V0 as a common 1 plus T upon 273.15. We can write it like that. Okay. Now again if we 273.15 plus T here divided by 273.15. This is very very important here. 